Hey guys, my name is Kat and you are watching my YouTube channel, Hey Catalina. This is actually going to be my first video. It's going to be a brief introduction to me and to some of my interests. This is a bit different than my actual intro video because that video was deliberately short, sweet, and to the point. In this video, I hope to get a little more in detail about some of the stuff that I'm into to give people more of a feel about who I am and where I come from and what I'm about. And I'm going to shout out to a few people who have inspired me to start doing these videos and to set up this channel in the way that it is set up. Anyway, let's quit rambling and get moving. So what is my channel about? Well, my channel, as I said in my shorter video, is extremely eclectic. My channel is basically a video journal of my life or more directly of my interests. I have tons of interests and we're going to go over them in detail now. I'm very interested in writing. I am working on a novel and a novella, which are part of an overall series called The Sealer Saga. I have been writing the um, stories for this series for about four years now. And I am hoping to publish my first novel and the prequel novella that go with it during 2015. I am not shy about talking about my work, although I'm not here to convince you to buy it, even though I am self-publishing. It's not so much that I want to market it to you directly, it's just that it's something that's so integrated into my life and that I relate to things, especially things that are like of a collectible or artistic or creative nature, that for me not to talk about it and about its characters and about how it relates to other things would make my videos and my overall presence be inauthentic and I don't want that. And I don't think you guys do either. Next thing that I'm really passionate about is books. That only stands to reason. I was a book blogger for nearly three years. I had a relatively successful book blog called I Write, I Read, I Review. And I really enjoyed having that blog and I had a great time and I made some wonderful friends during the time that I ran that. I ended up deciding that I needed to close my blog because I do have arthritis in my wrists and in my fingers. And I realized that I only have so much energy, health, strength, resistance, etc. in my fingers and in my wrists. And what that means with the way that my body seems to work is that I have to choose what I want to use my hands and my wrists for. And as much as I love my blog and as much as I enjoyed it, I need to be able to write for my novel. I need to be able to like leave comments and stuff like that. And I need to be able to play games because I don't want to give up gaming. So what I realized was that the blog was the thing actually doing a lot of damage because when you blog and write, you are writing a lot faster, a lot more quickly because you're talking opinions and stuff. And I got the idea to instead do a YouTube channel because instead of tiring my fingers and my wrists, I could instead exercise probably my most developed muscle, which is my mouth. So here I am and I'm really happy about that. And as I said in another video, which I recorded yesterday. Yes, these are recorded out of order, but anyway. I said that um, I, when I decided to make a YouTube channel, I took a break from doing any kind of blogging or social media or any of that to really think about what kind of channel I would like to make. And it was actually when I discovered the unboxing and the subscription boxes and all that, that I realized how much fun people were having and how these people that were doing this were tying it into other hobbies and passions, whether it was gaming or cooking or writing or collecting other geeky things and how they were able and confident and comfortable blending all of their passions together. The next hobby that I want to talk about that I'm really passionate about and that will be making a presence on this channel is music. Music has been a huge part of my life since childhood. I sang competitively from the time I was about 8 until the time I was about 30. 
I ended up getting out of that for several different reasons, but I still do sing for enjoyment, and I still go into a contest here and there. But I love music. Music inspires me as a writer. Music inspires me as a person. And music just in general, it makes me feel good. So I will be talking about albums that I want, or I will be giving thoughts on or reviewing albums that I own or have listened to. Some of those will be current, up-to-date, new releases, and some of those will likely be things I've had in my collection for a while. The next thing that I want to focus on, and that is probably going to be a large focus and something that I want to really improve my focus on, is movies and television. And this comes in several different flavors. With movies, the first thing I want to really talk about and focus on here is that I want to actively go out and see more movies in the theaters because I love going to the theater. Going to the theater is a wonderful experience. It's fun, it's social, you eat popcorn. It's great, I mean like, seeing a movie on a big screen with other people as a collective social experience is very different than watching it in your room, on your TV, on a DVD. Neither experience is bad, per se, and depending on the movie in question, one might be a better experience than another, depending on the person. But, I mean, I don't get a lot of reasons or excuses to go out. I don't drive, so a lot of the times when I want to go and do stuff, I have to really think about who's taking me, how I'm getting there, is it going to be convenient, etc. So I spoke to my family about this and they are all actually really supportive of the fact that I want to do this because as I've said in other videos, I had a really bad flare up with arthritis and it really screwed up my movement and I'm finally doing better. So they, they want me to get out and move around and stuff. And while yes, I would be sitting when I'm at the theater, it still involves me going out, getting there, walking around, getting my food, and just being active out and about in the world in general. So that's going to be really fun and I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the movies that are coming up this year. And I'm looking forward to sharing my thoughts on those movies with you guys. The next um, section of movies that I wanna talk about and that I will be focusing on are obviously movies that I choose to purchase on DVD and that I will re be reviewing. Now I've got several of them that I've shown in other videos already and I am excited about seeing those and talking about those. But as I said earlier, some things are just better viewed on DVD or sometimes you just can't get to every movie that comes out. It's just not possible. So that should be interesting. The other thing I want to talk about briefly here because it's a project I'm going to be working on this year is that I'm looking to expand my knowledge of the horror genre because while I have a really good grasp on science fiction, fantasy, romance, like all kinds of stuff, horror is actually a genre which for some reason I don't understand. I have, act I have actively avoided and I don't know why because my work has a lot of horror motifs in it and I think my work could be a lot stronger if I were more aware and more like influenced by the actual shows and tropes and ideas that actually set those things up. So with that in mind, what I'm going to be doing is I found a fantastic list of different subgenres of horror working downward from being the most like easygoing, tame, accessible, simple, like non-scary stuff down into deeper layers that are going to progressively become more difficult and I'm going to be working my way through those. Now, I will leave a link to this blog post that I found in the comments, and if anyone else wants to see what is on there, that's totally fine. Also, though, I would love to know if there are movies or books or anything related to this that you guys would recommend that I check out in order to like deepen and enrich this um, aspect of what I'm hoping to accomplish this year because I know there are several of you that I follow and whom I'm hoping will be watching this video who would likely have some really awesome insight into this.